take heed that ye do not your right wiseness before men to be seen of them, else ye shall have no meed at your Father that is in heavens. Therefore, when thou doest alms, do not thou trumpet before thee, as hypocrites do in synagogues and streets, that they be worshipped of men. So thee I say to you, they have received their meed. But when thou doest alms, know not thy left hand what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms be in huddles, and thy father that seeth in huddles shall requite to thee. And when ye pray, ye shall not be as hypocrites, that love to pray standing in synagogues and in corners of streets, to be seen of men. Truly I say to you, they have received their meed. But when thou shalt pray, enter into thy couch, and when the door is shut, pray thy father in huddles, and thy father that seeth in huddles shall yield to thee. But in praying, do not ye speak much, as heathen men do, for they guess that they be heard in their much speech. Therefore do not ye be made like to them, for your father knoweth what is need to you, before that ye ask him. And thus ye shall pray, Our Father that art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come too, be thy will done in earth as it is in heaven. Give, us, give to us this day our, our each day's bread, and forgive to us our debts, as we forgive to our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For if ye forgive, for if ye forgive to men their sins, your heavenly Father shall forgive to you your trespass. Sicily, if ye forgive not to men, neither your Father shall forgive to you your sins. But when ye fast, do not ye be made as hypocrites sorrowful, for they deface themselves to seem fasting to men. Truly I say to you, they have received their meed. But when thou fastest, anoint thine head, and wash thy face, that thou be not seen fasting to men, but to thy father that is in huddles, and thy father that seeth in privy shall yield to thee. Do not ye treasure to you treasures in earth, where rust and moth destroyeth, and where thieves delve out and steal. But gather ye to you treasures in heaven, where neither rust nor moth destroyeth, and where thieves delve not out nor steal. For where thy treasure is, there also thine heart is. The lantern of thy body is thine eye. If thine eye be simple, all thy body shall be light full. But if thine eye be wayward, all thy body shall be dark. If then the light that is in thee be darknesses, how great shall those darknesses be? No man may serve two lords, for either he shall hate the one and love the t'other, either he shall sustain the one and despise the other. You may not serve God in riches. Therefore I say to you, that ye be not busy to your life what ye shall eat, nor to your body with what ye shall be clothed, where the life is not more than meat, and the body more than the cloth. Behold ye the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither reap, neither gather into barns, and your half-father of heaven feedeth them, whether ye be not more worthy than they. But who of you thinking may put to his stature one cubit? And of clothing, what be ye busy? Behold ye the lilies of the field, how they wax, they travail not, neither they spin. And I say to you, that Solomon in all his glory was not covered as one of these. And if God clotheth thus the hay of the field that today is, and tomorrow is cast into an oven, how much more you of little faith. Therefore do not ye be busy, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or with what things shall we be covered? For heathen men seek all these things, and your Father knoweth that ye have need to all these things. Therefore seek ye first the kingdom of God and his right wiseness, and all these things shall be cast to you. Therefore do not ye be busy into the morrow, for the morrow shall be busy to itself, for it sufficeth to the day his own malice.